Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and welcome back to another episode of my 5M RP. Now in this episode it's going to be a little bit more chilled out, a little bit more relaxed than the episodes you guys have seen up to this point because a lot of those were very focused on like we were going off-roading, we were doing a lot of like, you know, driving and stuff like that. This episode is going to be more focused on explaining to you guys a little bit more of the background of my character as well as we're probably going to be doing a little bit of looking for um, either a place to put a house or for a house that we might want or for a house that we might want to renovate kind of figuring out where we want to kind of plant our roots um, around here so currently this is where um, this is where I'm living because I've just moved I just moved here and my buddy TJ was kind enough to uh, Kind enough to help me find this airstream. This thing's actually really, really awesome. I love it. And he ended up finding it, and I was like, dude, I'll take it. So, um, this is my truck. And honestly, I can say that I'm not the happiest with the stacks. Um, I kind of want to do something about the stacks, but at the same time, they're kind of like, they kind of fit the idea of the truck, but at the same time, the truck looks really good without them too. So, I'm trying to figure out whether or not I want to keep them. Otherwise, I really like this truck, but I'm also starting to find that I want something else but i don't necessarily want to get rid of this thing like I, I want a car i know i want a car of some sort but i also like i said i don't want to get rid of this truck so i think in the long run what we're probably going to end up doing is oh and by the way just so you guys know it's as far as like what my character actually does my character right well i should say my character what i do in 5m uh is currently i do a lot of like stuff from you know if i go into this Currently, I work out of this Airstream um, doing a lot of things like um, social media and marketing and stuff like that. So my basically, I can work wherever. So I kind of work out of my... Currently, I work out of this. I thankfully was able to get good enough internet. But currently work out of here and I'm looking to figure out where I would either like to have a house or where I would put a house. But I'm trying to figure out what the best place w for that would be because remember we have to have like fairly decent access to internet uh, because we have to be able to answer emails like all the time. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and hop in the truck and we're probably going to do a little bit of a cruise. We're going to start looking around like I said for um, any property that I might be interested in and also kind of where I might be interested in maybe either getting a house or putting a house. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump in, and hopefully we don't get any tickets this time. Um, I know we got we got a ticket a while back that I still need to handle, Shh. and that that will uh, that will be handling soon. But oh, come on, there we go. So make sure. Oh God, stop! Jeez. The locals around here, man, the locals around here are nuts sometimes. They're really, really nuts sometimes. I just want to make sure that I don't, like, I just want to make sure that I don't hit anything because I don't want to mess this truck up. This truck's very, very nice. This truck's very, very nice, and I don't want to mess it up, especially after last time of so many of the things I had to fix after I got back from my off-roading trip. Dude, oh my god, this truck was broken in a lot more areas than I thought it was. I had to fix body panels, I had to replace some stuff in the engine, there was some, like, <laughs> there was some busted coolant lines, there was, like, the radiator had a, almost a hole in it. it, it was pretty nuts. Not gonna lie, it was pretty nuts. So, I'm kind of thinking I want something by the water, but I'm not totally sure, you know what I mean? I kind of want something by the water, but at the same time, I don't want to have, like, I don't want to have a house that's, like, too close to the water. Because I feel like if you have one, like, too close to the water, then, like, it's dominated by that. It's absolutely dominated by that. So, that's, an, that's one thing. But another thing is, like, so what do I want? Well, I want a little bit of land, not too, too much. I don't really need that much land. I just need, you know, a nice enough house and a fairly good sized driveway to fit a few vehicles. So and maybe maybe a garage and maybe maybe a one or two car garage. I gotta get past this guy when this other guy lets me pass. There we go. Oh right at the end of the passing zone too. That was close. That was really close. Now there's not a lot in this area. Like once you come down around here, there's not too much. Because I wanna say that I wanna say that once you get down here it starts to get kind of, kind of iffy. Like, the people, the, the people around here, I will say, are a little bit iffy. There are some nice areas, but, like, it can get a little strange. So, this guy behind me is probably going to want to pass me. Big, slow, lifted truck. Oh, yeah, there he goes. Whatever that thing is, it's freaking awesome. 
I gotta be careful through here. Cops love it through here. And man, I don't want another, uh, I don't want another ticket for, like, bumper height and wheel offset. Because that's what I got last time, and I'm not in the mood to get another one. So, kind of want to just keep that on the down low. Especially because I have to handle those tickets now. Or, well, ticket. One ticket. Singular. Have to handle it. So, thankfully, it doesn't seem like there's many cops around right now. So, I'm just kind of like... Just kind of, you know, chilling without without attracting too much attention to myself. I say that when I'm driving around a bright orange, you know, lifted mega cab with hella offset and stacks. So, not really bringing that much attention to myself doesn't really apply, put it that way. The car dealership looking, they don't really have it, ah, they don't really have anything out right now. Keep on going though. We may drop by there at some point for sure because, like I said, we're gonna be. I'm gonna be wanting to get my hands on another vehicle pretty soon. But I think the big thing, honestly, with me, is the fact that there's there's a lot that you can do here, and I want to make sure that I like. There's a lot that you can do when you have such a diverse environment that I want to be able to experience as much of it as I can. And I also am kind of wanting to go. Hmm, I'm kind of wanting to see. If I can, like, drive along the beach, but at the same time, I feel like that's highly illegal, and if a cop saw me do that, they would be very upset. Hello, I'm not gonna run you over, because I'm kind of being nice to animals in GTA today. Oh my god. I want a dirt bike really bad to put in the back of this thing. That would be so cool to put a dirt bike in the back of this thing. Oh my god. I'll go ahead and park up real quick. Well, not park up, but stop. And then go. Thankfully, there was nobody coming the other way, because I didn't look. God, this thing does... With all this torque, it gets up to 50 pretty quick. But, like, anything after, like, 50, 60, 70 miles an hour, it's really slow. Like, really, really slow. Those good burnouts, though. May want to head back to Sandy. I'm not sure. Well, you know what? No, I'm going to bypass Sandy. And I'm going to get on the highway. And head a little bit further north to see if I can find any other good spots for a house. You know, actually, I have another area that I want to check out. Because, and I know I said I was going to get on the highway, but I have another area I want to check out. Because the area that I want to check out is more of... Whoa, hello. By the way, I'm really glad I filled the truck up last night. Because, like, it was at, like, half a tank. But at the same time, we've already come close to using, like, a quarter tank. So, I'm really glad I filled the truck up before I parked it. Let me get around you real quick. Do we have time? Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah, we have time. Woo, let's do this. Like I said, this thing gets up with the torque. It's just like once you get past, like I said, about 50, 60 miles. Whoa! Hello, Mr. Local. Jeez. That was kind of nuts. What are you? Every time I see somebody sitting on the side of the road like that, I'm like, is it a cop? Is it a cop? Is it a cop? Just because, I don't know why, like, especially if it's like a darker colored vehicle then, like, I always get super concerned that it's a cop. Let's see if we can... Oh, the passing zone ends. You know what? Mm. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Bet you, actually, bet you that I could find some interesting places if I were to go down the dirt just a little bit. Because there's so much space, like, around here. Because TJ was saying, there's so much space around here to put houses. Like, we, if I picked out a specific spot, that it would be a, like, you know, we could check it out. Because it would be a really good idea. But And I don't think I mind living on the, like, on the dirt road. I mean, like, to be honest, like, you could, you could drive a car down this. It's nothing, like, super insane to the point where you couldn't drive a car on it. You know what I mean? And I think that that's, like, one of the biggest things for me is that, like, I still want to be able to... Like, if I find myself a, like, a VET or a GTR that I want, I'll still be able to drive it, and it won't be, like, a huge issue to drive it anywhere. I wonder about, like... I wonder about up here, but at the same time, I don't know if that would work. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just doesn't... It's so uneven. It, it's so uneven, and it, but it would be cool. Like, it'd be a really good spot to be if you were, like, up above the road. But at the same time, I don't know if it would be, like, the best spot to be in. 
real quick, I'm gonna park up like right here because I feel like if we did some clearing right around here, we could find some, like, we could get a decent setup going. Like, these big rocks, we'd have to do something about them. They'd have to be either moved or removed. But, I mean, I definitely wouldn't mind a spot right here. We could put, like, a nice big deck out towards the, you know, out towards the water. He would have to fish somewhere else, but <laughs> I think that it would honestly be, like, it would honestly be a really cool spot. I mean, to be fair, it's kind of similar to the other two houses that are right here. But, and even, you know what, we might not even have to move those rocks. We could probably put the house over here. Now, it would have to slope a decent bit. Like, you'd be building on a decent slope right here, which, I mean, I would prefer to be on flat ground. But at the same time, I mean, I get it, you know, when you, have, when you do have to build on a slope. So, that's probably where I will end up being. I also do have to get some work done at some point. But, I mean, I don't have too much work to do right now. So, I'll have to, like, I can save that for later when I get back... Uh, back home, or well, technically where home is right now in TJ's yard. But anyways, let's see if we can see if we can get out of here real quick, and we'll go left and we'll check out some of the house, uh, house either house sites or houses up towards up towards the northern northern end. Dude, can you imagine? Can you imagine trying to park this here? And not only that, but can you also imagine, like, trying to have space for other cars? Like, my god. I mean, I'm gonna kind of go- I, I kind of want to go poke around a little bit. I, I, I hope I don't get in trouble for trespassing. I'll just be like, dude, there was a for sale sign. I was checking it out. And I know you're probably supposed to call a realtor for that, but... <laughs> We're just being a little sneaky. I mean, it's not a bad house. But at the same time, it's not really what I'm looking for, I don't think. I mean, I could I could feel like I could do some renovations, but still, like, there's, like, no land at all. So, it's it, there's, like, no land at all, and it's, like, right across from, like, the back of that supermarket place. And I'm just not really, I don't know, I'm not too inclined about the location. And at the same time, it's like, it may sound like I'm being super picky, but also, you gotta think, it's like, if this is somewhere where you plan on living, you kinda wanna be picky sometimes. I actually want to stop at the gas station and walk in and get a drink, because I'm, like, super thirsty right now. I don't know what they have. I'll probably just get, like, a water or something. That's beer down there. That's not really what, not really what I'm looking for. Yeah, I mean, they... Wow, they don't even seem to really have... They have <laughs> they have frozen pizzas here. That's hilarious. God, I wonder what... Did y'all misplace your water or something? Because I'm not looking for soda, and I'm definitely not looking for beer. So I guess... I mean, uh, a slush wouldn't be bad. A slush definitely wouldn't be bad. But at the same time, like, God, I wish they had, I, I, I wish they just had, like, normal water that I could get. But, like, I guess I'll go with one of these. Yeah, there's not really, see, that's the thing, is, like, there's not really too much that, like, oh, is there somebody out? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That, it, um, I really want to, I really want to get a closer look at that truck. Like, I know it's kind of creeper-ish, but I really want to get a closer look at that truck. Where did it even go? Went down this way. If I can't find it within, like, a couple turns, I'm gonna, like, break off and go somewhere else and start looking for it. Because, to be honest, like, I don't want to be that creepy dude, like, following somebody else's truck just to get a picture of it. But still. Just because that thing was huge, it was like a big silver Ford with, like, a cap? God, I don't even know where he went. I know I'm probably trespassing on somebody's farm, too, so I should probably, like, not be here. But, God, that thing was insane! I don't even know how you would, like... I don't even know how that would fit in a garage. I mean, much less how this would fit in a garage, but, like, looking at that thing, that... Oh, God! He's out there doing donuts on the on the runway. <laughs> I kind of want to go see what he's up to, and I kind of want to check out his truck. 
Hopefully I'm not like... Ugh, hopefully I'm not like heading somewhere that I'm not allowed to be. What's up? What's up, man? Hey, I love you? that thing. I appreciate it. I like your stacks in the back. Oh, yeah. Like, I've, I've been debating on whether or not I want to keep them because I like them, but at the same time... I don't, I'm not sure if I like them, you know? It's kind of one of those back and forth things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, there's good things and there's bad things. Yeah, no, I mean, I saw you roll I into the... You. Do what? Oh, no, and I get the way you want to maybe take them away or keep them. Yeah, no, I mean, I saw you uh, I saw you roll through the gas station, and I was like, I was like, I really want to see that thing up close, but I also don't want to be, like, a creeper and follow him. Yeah, I know, I've, I've had people come and take pictures of it before I mean those have got to be at least what like 46s right like just huge yeah definitely I've, I've been selling this one I've been looking for someone to buy it oh really man I'd be interested if I didn't mm. like just buy this yeah no but that's a good trick as well that's like I had one of them but it wasn't lifted yeah, yeah, I mean, I always run into the issues with, like, I got pulled over for bumper height, offset, you know, you name it. Oh, yeah, I've got pulled over many times in this for being too high. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I've just been kind of running around, kind of running around doing some, like, like, looking for, looking at houses, kind of looking for maybe, like, a place to build. I'm not kind of sure what I want. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, there is some good spots around here. There is some flat land. There is some, like, flat land and sandy. So, you'll find a place. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm sure I will. But, God, that thing is absolutely insane, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate you letting me take there a look is. at it. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Anytime. Do you ever want to take a look at what cars we got here? Just come by and see if we're here. Oh, y'all, uh, like, actually up here at the airfield? Yeah, I own the place, so like I work on my own cars here. Oh, that's that's awesome. I'm I I don't know if I ever introduced myself to you. I'm Tom. Tom, yeah, nice to meet you. I'm Chris. Cool, man. Well, I'll I wouldn't mind coming up and checking out some of your other cars at some point. Oh, the alarm's going off. Yeah, anytime. Just let me know and then I'll get them out for you. Sweet. Yeah, that was I I, I was actually kind of concerned that that was my alarm going off. <laughs> But yeah, man, you take oh, it easy. No, I'll see ya. Yeah, you too. Have a good one. Yo, my door finally closed. My truck is, like, freaking out right now. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, God, it actually broke down. Oh, God. Looks like black smoke is not usually a good sign. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm a, do you mind if I sit in it and see what I can do to it? Oh no, that's fine, man. That's fine. Yeah, well, it's running now. I'm gonna just move it to the side of the road. Dude, I'd appreciate that, like, a ton. That way, I, I don't live far from here, so I can get it home, and I can limp it home and work on it there. Yeah, well, it's running now. It is, looks like it's overheating, so it could be just like you need a bit more coolant in it. Yeah, I'll check all the... I'll check all the hoses and definitely, um, definitely see if I need to add more coolant when I get back. Hopefully I didn't blow a head gasket. No, that wouldn't be good. My RX-7's head gasket blew and it was a big nightmare to fix. Yeah, I'm sure, because then you gotta go through all the teardown process and it's just not fun. But yeah, wow. No, not at all. Well, I'm glad you were able to get it back started again. I'm gonna limp it home and, uh, hopefully get out of y'all's hair. Okay, yeah, no problem then. Have a good one. All right, you too, man. Thanks. No problem. God, this thing really... I'm going to have to really limp it. I don't know what is going on with it. It is just absolutely freaking out right now. Oh, our house hunting may, may or may not have ended with a little bit of, uh, little bit of a truck problem. But I'm really glad he was able to get it started again. Because, man... When it started, whoa! Wow! Oh my god, that was close. That was so close. Holy crap, that was insane. Well, 
hopefully we can just fill it back up with coolant and check all the hoses and see if there's anything like broken or busted and hopefully nothing's gone too too wrong so i'll give it a i'll give it a shot i'll try and fix it and i'll see what we can do well long story short we were able to dig into this truck and yeah so we had a radiator leak and we also had another busted coolant hose i need to figure out why this thing keeps overheating um because it is becoming it's, it's seeming like it's becoming like a fairly regular issue i mean i know that the 6.7 cummins does have some occasional issues with the like like with overheating but i know that that was only in like the older ones i think like some of the earlier six sevens i wouldn't imagine that this six seven would have had that same issue but like i mean it's good now but we're gonna have to make sure we keep an eye on it and in the next episode hopefully hopefully in the next episode we'll get to actually get a little bit closer to finding um finding an actual spot for a house i'm pretty sure that i'm set on wanting one right down there um like right down there right next to those rocks like with a deck and like you know a little bit slanted towards the water but we'll see and we're also going to try and get another uh we're also going to try and get another um another off-roading trip going pretty soon but i also want to check out his um i also want to check out that, that, that guy's cars because man like he seemed like he had a pretty interesting collection so without any further ado i'll talk to you guys next time if you enjoyed this series or enjoyed this episode make sure you subscribe for more and i will see y'all next time talk to you guys later